Hey, Invisca. So I just finished binging the newest Bridgerton, which was the Queen Charlotte kind of like prequel to the other Bridgerton stories. Um, and it got me thinking, because I'm a little bit sadder, but how do you take inspiration from novels and movies and TV shows of how to romanticize your life? And that has been something that you biscuits know if you follow me on Instagram that I've been talking a lot about, of this idea of living your own romance novel, of being in your own romantic comedy film, and really figuring out ways, both tiny and huge in your life, that you can romanticize the everyday. Because guess what? You have to live day by day. You can't live for this hope of like a little tiny pinch of romance somewhere in your life. If you really want to be happier in your life, you have to learn to romanticize all the little details. So one of the things that I have adopted is I started wearing more dresses, um, more textures that I love, because I got to say, postpartum after having my daughter, I was in sweats for like a year or two. <laughs> I mean, she's just now two in a couple months um, and a couple months. And I feel like it took me until this year to be like, you know what, I really want to get out of just wearing sweats all the time, super comfy. That kind of like during lockdown, I kind of just became my uniform. But I want to get back into clothes that when I'm in them, I feel like a romance novel heroine. That I feel like a character who could adventure magnificently, you know? So pick out a little capsule wardrobe. It doesn't have to be costly, and a lot of it could maybe already be in your wardrobe. And decide that that's just going to be your summer outfit. Like beautiful summer dresses, summer skirts. Um, I think are so much fun. Great textures, all natural materials. It's just beautiful. So that's the first way I've been romanticizing my life. And the second way has been, and if you know me, maybe this surprises you that like, I haven't been doing this before, but I've really been feminizing my home more. Um, I feel like the last place I lived, it was kind of contemporary-ish and it just didn't have a lot of romantic, size romantic vibes in it and so I had a hard time visualizing how to romanticize that house this house is a little bit older a little bit quirkier and I've just come into it and you know I've made a flower wall um, I've put up little wooden faux window frames around things to add accents here and there I've gotten little rope like nautical balls like my downstairs living room is coming together with a little nautical theme um, I'm working on this summer I'm gonna do some projects around the house um, DIY for my budget that is going to just really romanticize my physical home space. So, you know, I work from home. I'm a homeschool mama. Um, I'm a full-time work from home mom. And so I'm at home a lot of the time. And this is like my main little artistic canvas to create. And so I'm really focusing on, oh, well, the spaces that I'm in constantly, I should romanticize, you know, I should turn each area into a beautiful, joyful spot. And that's easier said than done because interior design is time intensive, budget intensive, and also just takes up a lot of mental space for me because I've been so busy this year um, that it's been hard for me to assign this mental space to do these things. And so what I've done is I've kind of prioritized this romanticization of my life because I've said, you know what, all other areas of my life will bloom more easily. And my heart is happy in these. So turn your home into the set of a romantic comedy. What would, if you were in a romance film, what would that house look like? Now for me, do you biscuits know the house in Practical Magic? Yes. I kind of want a house like that. <laughs> and this is the first house I've lived in where I could really kind of sense that maybe that would come together. Um, so I've got to like get on my DIY hat because that's all that I can do this year. Um, cause I, I had some contractors out to my house to give me some quotes cause I thought maybe it won't be that much. It was so ridiculous of numbers, like buy a car ridiculous. Um, then I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy me another saw at Home Depot and I'm just going to do it myself. So I'm working on turning this into the set of a romance movie. That's my idea because you know, the clothes I'm in and the space that I'm in every day are some of the hugest things they contribute to how I'm feeling and taking in the world, right? How I romanticize my life. Those are really easy things you can do. Now, a third thing I've been doing, and this may be your stick, or this may be something you really have to like dig in and learn this year. I've been baking a ton more. I make homemade bread almost every day. Um, 
I've been making my own pickles and sauces. Uh, when my fruit starts to ripen in my orchard, I'm going to be making a ton of sauces and jams and jellies. Uh, I'm really excited about that. I have been digging into like traditional feminine rolls and oh my god, it has been so enticing in an emotional follow your path of bliss way and so sensual and like holding place and space for my divine feminine. It's like just connecting and coming into line with that inner being has been so powerful. And my inner being is that divine feminine, right? I'm a very feminine woman. That's just who I am. Now, I know ladies that have much more of the divine masculine in them, right? And that's their happy place. But for me, my happy place is so totally just those classical feminine art forms of life and of home. And it's been so powerful to look at my life as a romance novel in the best ways, not in like cliches, but in ways that I can learn to love every little inch of my life. It has been wonderful. And if you want to follow along with more ideas, you can come on over to Patreon. We have our very first tier, which is just $10 a month. And that is a wonderful intro to all our chats, our photos, great manifesting in May videos this month. Um, really just joyful abundance. And you can kind of go up the tiers. Um, we have our top tier that is an all naturalist. If you are interested in naturalism, it's a wonderful guide. You get my entire back catalog on there of all my naturalism self-care videos, some meditation, bath time rituals, skincare rituals, um, emotional wellness and support for the inner naturalist. It is just a beautiful little space on social media if you want to join that community. And I will see you here on the Wholesome Feed in our next video.